Hey guys, I believe it's safe to say that lately we have been spending considerably more hours in front of our PCs or laptops than ever before. Here we have a brand new product that could possibly make these long work days a tad more enjoyable. It's Everdesk Plus Max, a highly customizable standing desk that looks and feels very premium. Let's see what you can do. And if you're new to his channel, please consider subscribing. Before we get into the desk itself, let's quickly go over the options. On the Everdesk website, there are a bunch of desks to choose from, but the main ones are Everdesk Plus, Lite and Max. Lite is the cheaper version with a single motor and Max is using dual motor, which supports more weight. Their website guides you through all the different choices, starting with a the frame, then a the tabletop and the rest. This is where you can choose between the classic compressed fiber desk, natural wood like we have here, or go all the way and choose the wild folk style, which is currently very trendy. Do be warned, standing desks are expensive even at their cheapest price. And once you start customizing, it really adds up to quite a sum. With that being said, some of the accessories, in our opinion, can make a big difference. In our example, we went for a bit of everything to show some use cases and provide feedback. But ultimately, it is up to you to choose what you would like based on individual requirements. One thing that we've noticed straight away, this desk setup is very flexible. Let's cover a few special features on our particular model. As mentioned earlier, we chose a large natural wood top and black frame. For accessories, we picked up a monitor arm with a laptop combo holder, pegboard organizer, both wooden shelves, as well as the cable management accessories to create a very clean looking setup. We've also picked up leather desk and mouse pads, an anti-glare lighting accessory that goes on top of the monitor, as well as the anti-fatigue mat for the floor. All of these items were delivered in a nice cardboard boxes with very simple instructions. We did have our table set by a technician, but I can confirm it was quite straightforward, as the desk already has pre-drilled holes for absolutely everything, including left and right positions for the controller. I was very excited about the special feature called Unigroove. It is quite unique cable management solution. In some of the promotional pictures, it was suggested to be used as a phone or tablet holder, and it looked like the ultimate efficiency booster. But in reality, it was not as ideal, at least with my phone. However, it does work really well for mounting different devices to the desk, such as monitor arm and shelves. Due to its design, the devices can always be moved around without the need of drilling extra holes. Another cool feature is the indent at the back of the desk for larger cables, so you can easily push the desk against the wall. This is a very neat little detail which we really appreciate. I do wish Unigroove would support ability to slide out some of the sections to put in the larger cables like for example power cable for the monitor. The accessory that proved to be more useful than I expected was the pegboard organizer panel. I really thought it would be quite gimmicky, but it was nice to have an extra vertical space for the random stuff and it also serves as a nice divider for your desk, creating some privacy and separation from the rest of the room. Last, but in my mind probably the most important accessory is the anti-fatigue mat. While using standing desk in a well standing mode, I personally can only stand between 20 and 30 minutes until I feel the need to sit down. And as we have hard floors, this is exactly comfortable on your feet. With the anti-fatigue mat, I can probably have triple the amount of time I spend standing every day. For those who intend to stand for a long period of time, I would recommend getting a larger mat as you would likely want to change your stance, and it's not exactly possible on a smaller mat. Moving back to the desk itself, I really like the tabletop finish. We chose aged darkened walnut and looks absolutely beautiful. The desk itself has a pretty large range of for height adjustments, from 60 centimeters at its lowest to 124 centimeters at its highest, which is essentially leaning height for me, and I'm pretty tall. I feel it's fast and quiet enough for me to use on a daily basis. The one thing that I have mixed feelings about is the round style controller. It has some cool features and looks pretty slick. You can set up your minimum and maximum height, configure reminders to stand up and change the vibration type for the notifications. You have your standard three height presets and by turning left or right, you can move the desk up or down. My gripe with it is the capacitive buttons. They are too sensitive and get pressed by accident several times a day. Initiating the table to suddenly go up or down, it gets me every time. And to stop it from moving, you have to press the capacitive button again rather than using the round adjustment knob, which is not intuitive especially when you're already freaked out and scrambling to stop it. There is an option within the settings to enable auto lock function, but I personally prefer the older style controller with the simple buttons. After checking out the latest offerings from the Everdesk website, it seems that they no longer offer the older style controller. So you will likely have few freakouts and hopefully learn how to avoid accidentally touching it or enable auto lock function. Other than that, there are no real issues with the desk. 
If you're looking for a sturdy, highly customizable and overall good looking desk, then this Everdesk Plus Max might be it. It has a wide range of ergonomic features, plus if you're willing to splurge out a bit more, consider getting some of the accessories that they offer. It will make a great experience even better. However, if you're on a tight budget, then they offer a cheaper, light version. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one.